Hi you guys, happy Monday. Um, it's President's Day for me. I'm starting another vlog. I just got back home. I went to my aunt's, dropped off the, uh, the box of like kitchen stuff that I had that I was trying to get rid of. I dropped that off at my aunt's and um, just thought about it. I was looking for like this, like I had like a mandolin, like what do they call like a mandolin that you like slice things on. I took it to my aunt's and it's missing the glove and I'm like, the way y'all be acting you need this glove so i was trying to see if i could find it really quick i don't know if i threw it away not knowing what it went to or what but yeah just tried to look for that for a second but i'm back home uh i'm about to make myself a coffee i was supposed to like go to my aunt's uh stop by this coffee place i was supposed to go to target but then once i left there i was like you know what i just want to go home i don't feel like doing anything so i'm gonna make myself some coffee the plan is to cook dinner. I want to make some butter chicken. I have like my chicken here. I'm going to make the sauce. Well, I bought a jar of butter sauce, but I have veggies, chicken. I was going to make my own like yogurt sauce to go on the top. I have garlic naan in the freezer and I was going to eat that for the rest of the week, even though I really want Chipotle and I almost stopped and got Chipotle today, but I was like, you know what? Just go home and eat. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I'm about to bake my coffee and then have a seat. I'm waiting for this Dreamlight Valley update, like announcement. Like, is it, are we getting an update tomorrow? Is it Wednesday? Is it next week? I, I don't know if you guys even saw like the little hints. One of them was like a, I think like a candle and spaghetti. So that's obviously Lady in the Tramp. So maybe they do like a Lady in the Tramp star path. And then they had a, a door with an eyeball so that's like monsters inc and we're gonna get a realm for that and the other one was like a redhead girl with snakes like the emoji and i'm wondering is that like an actual character or is that just like new hairstyles because they did give us a hint of like this person with like snake hair but it was purple snake hair so maybe the red hair was just unrelated i don't know why you would go out of your way to choose emoji with red hair why wouldn't you just choose normal emoji with black hair? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that was just like, get you guys off the track. Either way, I'm going to be stalking my phone, waiting for some sort of update. Because I want to play Stardew Valley. Not Stardew Valley. What is the game called? Dreamlight Valley. Like, I just love playing that game. And it's so crazy because when it was announced, I was like, I'm not playing that game. And then I play it every day. And it's like a whole thing. Um... Also, I think Pia broke my TV. I still have two more payments on this TV and Pia was chewing on the cord. So when I go to turn on my Xbox or turn on the Switch, it's recognizing that something's connected but it's not turning up on the TV. So I can still turn on my TV and do all my normal things but it's not realizing that I have devices connected to it so I can't play my game unless I unplug it and use the TV in my bedroom or something. But I went back there, looked at the back of the TV, and she has literally chewed up the cord for the back of the TV. Luckily, that cord comes off, and you can, like, plug, you can get a replacement cord. But the cheapest replacement cord for, like, a name brand was $80 to almost $200, or you can get the off-brand one for, like, $40. And I'm just like... I still have two more payments on this TV and it's already a thing because Miss Nibbles is always nibbling. She's always chewing on things. I was so mad at her last night, like I wanted to cry. I was just like, I'm going to bed. I went to bed early because I was just so upset with her. She's always chewing on things, like always chewing on things. So I did get on Amazon and I do see these little pet covers to go on cords to protect your core things from chew from protect your course when you're nibbling as pets and i'm just like so worried that she's gonna chew on something and it's gonna spark and she's either gonna get electrocuted or it's gonna spark and cause a fire like i've never had a cat that nibbled on things so much because ramsey doesn't chew on things at all he plays with his toys 
you know, I always have to fight him to get off the counters. That's what he does. Pia doesn't really do anything other than chew on things. Like she scratches, well she plays too rough. When you go to play with her, she's always scratching and biting. But she chews on all the cords. That's the only thing she does. Everything else, she is perfect, the best cat. She's a cuddler, she sleeps with me every night. She's so great, except for that nibbling. She's a nibbler. <sighs> but yeah. Luckily, I do have a warranty on the TV until the end of the year. So I was able to schedule an appointment for Friday. And in the panic, I didn't, I wasn't looking at the dates. I probably should have scheduled something for today since I was off work today, but I was just like not even thinking about it because I was just like so upset. So Friday, somebody's supposed to come and hopefully it doesn't cost me anything to have that cord replaced because it's in warranty. And then I'll just buy cord covers and go from there because like I was so upset last night <sighs> um yeah I went to my aunt's it was nice to see everybody I saw Taylor I saw Noah and Abby um Noah was so polite he's like how are you how are you doing he didn't immediately jump up and start putting his fingers all in my face and make me yell at him so I didn't yell at him not once but he still be doing too much and Taylor asked for a new game. She wants the, whatever that new Mario game is, she asked for a Mario game. So I was gonna get her a Mario game whenever I go pick up my Princess Peach game. So I told her it was gonna be like March. <laughs> Cause I mean, who knows, maybe, I, cause I wanted to give her my pink and white, my pink and yellow Joy-Cons that I bought, but I wanted to, I started to give them to her today, but then I thought about it, it was like, I kinda wanna compare that pink one to the, all pink set that's coming to see if they're the sh same color pink they look like they're the same color pink but i wanted to look so i told her whenever i bring the game over and i get my joy cons i'll bring them over for her and yeah i'm gonna stand here rambling i'm gonna make my coffee and go do my thing i just want to talk like i'm just rambling but i'll make my coffee and i'll talk i did get this almond milk cookie butter creamer it's pretty good but i'm not going to use it today i'm just going to use my vanilla oat milk and i just opened up a, a hazelnut creamer i saw that i saw that starbucks had like a new drink i think it was like a i don't even know it was like a cookie crumble hazelnut chocolate cold brew something like that so we're gonna try to make that at home and we're just gonna freestyle it because I don't remember what it was. I think it was just like maybe hazelnut syrup and then like a chocolate cold foam and like a cookie crumble on the top. I'm not gonna do the cookie crumble on the top because I don't feel like putting Oreos on top of my coffee, but we could definitely do a chocolate hazelnut situation because that sounds good. I had ran out of coffee completely and was like stressing out about it because I'm like, crap. I don't have coffee but when you order from the Nespresso website they move so quickly like I'm pretty sure I ordered either I ordered the coffee Thursday or Friday and it was there Sunday love that put some extra water in the coffee maker When I order coffee, I always get the same, like, couple flavors or, yeah. I get the same, like, two, three flavors because I'm like, I have my favorites. Mm. Oh, I guess we're going to make a cold foam. Got to do that. Get my little machine. I don't have any, like thick I don't have any like heavy whipping cream so we're just gonna use regular milk and froth it I don't know if this one froths sometimes they say they froth and then sometimes they don't like this one doesn't say it froths I have three different brands of oat milk so I usually buy silk 
This one doesn't say if it froths either. And I have the Planet Oat. And then I have Chobani. There used to be one that says it froths. Maybe none of them froth anymore. It's kind of making me nervous that this one, it's like very fat. Like, is it just filled to the brim or is it releasing gases? Like it's not even open and it doesn't expire until April, but it definitely feels away. Anywho. Stop yelling at me. It's because I'm making a coffee and she's like, oh, it's whipped cream time. But it is not whipped cream time, little lady. I'm just gonna do, I have like chocolate hazelnut syrup. I'm just gonna put some milk and some chocolate hazelnut syrup and froth that. And that's gonna be that. And then I also have actual hazelnut syrup. I'm ignoring her and I got my little tablespoon I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this syrup and then add a bunch of ice and then my cold foam I feel like I already need to fill up my ice thing. I don't feel like the bag of ice they gave me this time was as full but I like heavy ice in my coffee and then light ice in my chai. And a splash of this vanilla milk. And then I have my chocolate cold foam. Smells good. I'm like, does that even show? It's kind of showing. You can see the separation there. Pia's harassing me. It almost feels like it needs more ice, but I won't get crazy. Pretty good. I like the chocolatey. I don't know how I feel about that the hazelnut syrup though. In here getting my dinner together. It is 302. I'm watching this story on TikTok. Uh, it's getting crazy. And I have chicken here because I'm making butter chicken with the simmer sauce. And so I'm adding peppers and onions. And I have my chicken here that's been marinating in Greek yogurt and a bunch of different spices. All of these spices. So I'm gonna saute my peppers, put them in the bowl, then make my chicken, and then add everything back in. Got my chicken in here. And honestly, I feel like I put too much Greek yogurt in there, but it's all gonna cook off and go into the sauce, but it looks extra suspect right now. <laughs> it was entirely too much yogurt. I am on part 35 on the Risa story, and I'm about to make my dinner because I'm done. Let me, grab all my stuff because it is 424 and I want to keep watching my show while I eat I got my rice and peas I got my my butter chicken oh I forgot I gotta I gotta preheat the, the oven because I have that Trader Joe's non bread that is so good. 
really sad. I got really excited because I was about to get up and just make my bowl, but garlic naan. Says to preheat oven to 400. Do I leave it in the bag? Remove naan from bag, heat in oven for one to one and a half minutes, serve hot and glaze with butter. Okay, that's good. It only needs to be in there for one to one and a half minutes. Did I read that right? Yeah, one and, one and a half. This is probably like the best store-bought get it open what's going on yeah this is probably the best store-bought naan in my opinion it's so good look at all that garlic and seasoning on there it's so good and it comes with four pieces and it smells so good Got the food here, and I put this uh, cucumber yogurt sauce on the top, and I got my garlic naan. I made some sweet tea to get rid of all that brown sugar I had, and I am on part 36. I think this white sauce is called like rata or something. Every time I go to like an Indian food restaurant, some have the rata and some don't, but it's good just to make it at home now. And I made enough food to eat for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, I might go pick up something to eat. And then Friday, I probably eat leftovers or something. I don't know. Something else I'll make. But pretty good day. Back home from work. It is Wednesday for me. Um, looking for my iPad because I got dinner. And I gotta watch something while I eat. I went to Crumble. Also went to Condado and I got two tacos, queso and some guac and then there's like chips over there too. I was supposed to eat one more day of the food I cooked because I had enough for three days and today I was supposed to eat the last portion. But honestly, I don't think I like the simmer sauce that's on it. The more I eat it, I'm like, this sauce is like so, no, I don't know if the word is acidic or what, but it's just very sharp. <laughs> like maybe if I had some heavy whipping cream or something, some sort of cream I could have put in there, maybe it would have made it less harsh to eat. But I'm like, I'm over it. I don't want to eat that anymore. I want something else. So, I'm, I am, I'm gonna eat something else. <laughs> I kind of wanted to leave work early today, but I was just like, I'll stay. Like, I didn't really want to. I wanted to leave. I'm like, I'll do my work. This guac is a little sus, like. Hey, can you focus please? This looks like Taco Bell guac. This does not look like Chipotle guac. It tastes all right. It's very like, I don't know. It doesn't taste like avocados. It tastes like citrusy. I'm gonna eat it. It was $2. And then I got this cup of queso. This one's my favorite, the smoked cheddar one. Cause they put like ground beef in there. That's spicy. For tacos, I got a Lucy Fire. And then I got a Blue Dream. This one has ground beef and this one has chicken. I think I'm gonna go with the ground beef. You know what? I gotta get my sour cream out the fridge. Love sour cream. 
I'm gonna eat my dinner and I'll be right back because I went to Target and I got too many brands and it's, I used a little chart so I'm supposed to have s'mores and I'm supposed to have cheeseburger. We're gonna take a peek. Ramsey just screaming. Um, we're gonna take a peek and see if the little cheat sheet worked. I'm gonna open up the cakes I got from Crumble. I got the Tres Leche. And then I got the lemon cheesecake because the, the guy working there said he likes the cheesecake. So he recommended this one. And I went there for this. It looks really good. I only ate one of my tacos and then some of my queso because I'm probably going to eat it again either tomorrow or Friday. Do you hear how loud he is? That is like. It's a wet cake. Okay. I feel like the topping is just like. It kind of tastes like Cool Whip. Not Ready Whip, but Cool Whip with cinnamon on the top. It tastes buttery, but it mostly tastes like cinnamon. I don't feel like the cake tastes like anything. It's good. Mm. It's good see me going in the fridge and being like let me get a little piece of that <clears throat> the lemon cheesecake one is so pretty with the little lemon wedge on there I'm just gonna bite this one lemony it tastes like cheesecake and I feel like the cookie is probably gonna be cooked all the way through I don't think I get the crumble hype like it's just very sweet everything just tastes very sweet with a slight different taste like this the cake one slightly tastes like cinnamon so it's like wet cake whipped cream cinnamon this one just tastes super sweet with a slight lemon taste and a crumbly texture because of the cookie they just taste sweet i don't know man the hype is i don't get it <sighs> but they are edible but i don't see myself going back like this is probably the second time i've gone to crumble i went the first time when they opened up one in my uh, near me and then this time and It's fine. It's it's fine. Um, I thought like I'm gonna cut one of these in half. I don't even know if I want to eat more of it tonight. I'm gonna put them in the fridge, and if I want more, I'll just take one out of the fridge to chew on. But for right now, I think I'm over it. I want to open up those uh, mini foods to see if I did the test right. All right, I don't know where my phone is. I think I put it down like somewhere. Let me see if I can find it because I want to show you guys the, the, the picture. Now, I don't feel like putting these together now. I just got off work and I want to sit down on the couch and decompress for a little bit. But I do want to at least open them to see if I was right. So this one, this one is a Diner Series 3. And they said that if there is a pen mark by the beef right there, that it's a cheeseburger. This one has a pen mark by the beef. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Let's check. I 
forgot how crazy it was trying to get into these things. I can't tell so far what it is. I think it's a cheese. I can't tell. Hold on. I gotta. Take everything out and we got let's see have a sunny day maybe some utensils thank you have a sunny day do you not know until you open them there's so many parts this has to be a cheeseburger Tomato slices and lettuce. Burger buns. It's a burger. Okay, cool. I'm putting everything back in the package and I'm gonna put it to the side so I can open up the other one and see if it's s'mores. It should be s'mores. If this next one was hard for me to do because the light, the pin marks were so light and I was just like, I just guessed on the next one so hopefully i got that one right too really excited because i really feel like you're not wasting your money when you get the one you want and it just feels like oh, yes i'm like let me put make sure i put the instruction manual and everything back inside the dish i didn't want to cooperate i got everything in there besides the stand um okay so this one, it said, if there's a pin mark on this side of the ramen bowl, it should be s'mores. Is right there. Some of them have a pencil mark and then some of them have a pin hole. So it just depends on the series, but the marks should be in the same place, I believe. So fingers crossed for s'mores. I only chose s'mores because they looked really cute and it had a bunch of like layers and stuff. And I'm like, that could be fun. One thing that should tell us it should be marshmallow. Let's see. <gasps> Graham crackers. That has to be s'mores. <sighs> I love this you just really feel like you're getting your money's worth when you go there and you get the ones you want and I love that I'm gonna put this in the put this in the pile with the rest of them that I have not done yet let me show you my shame look at that I got is that five five more here and I've already gone through them I've already gone through them to see what they are so these five are all different And this one was a double of something, so I just put it up here. I don't know what I'm do. I'm gonna do with it. This is a series one, so I don't even think they do this one anymore. I don't remember what it was. Let's take a peek. I'm not gonna open this one because it's a repeat. I might take it over to Brandy's and see if Taylor wants it. Uh, so the mark is on the corner of the pie, right there. And according to this thing, if it's on the corner of the pie, it should be chocolate chip pancakes. Which is gonna be really cute to make. So I have two chocolate chip pancakes now. I kinda wanted the avocado toast. I went through all the ones I had and none of them were avocado toast, which is fine, but pancakes. <sighs> I'm gonna lay on the couch. I need a break. I was so tempted just to leave work early today just because I was just like, the vibes are off. Like, my new boss is weird. I'm glad he's in like, luckily he's not in the office with us. He's in Michigan. But he strikes me as the type that does the bare minimum and takes credit from other people. So our team lead, 
made a little box and it was like well at the time so we came to work on valentine's day last week and there was little boxes on our desk you open them up and they had like candies um like stress balls keychains um like a nice note brownies everything was cute tied with a cute bow everything and i was just looking like wow the attention to detail is given it doesn't seem like a man put this together but i was going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he was in town and i was like oh did you bring these like did you make these did you give these to us and he's like yeah i'm like oh thank you everybody tells him thank you and we go about our day but i messaged the team lead who's still in michigan because she was still in the office down there i messaged her and i'm like um did you help make these boxes like they're really pretty did you help make them because i just found it hard to believe he was the type that would pay attention to detail to tie a cute little bow on the box and have color court like it just didn't it wasn't giving male energy it wasn't so i messaged her i was just like did you help with this like there's a woman had to be involved she was like i made those boxes all by myself like i made them and then he gave me the money afterwards after i was already starting the process and i was like are you kidding me and then i told her what happened her feelings were hurt that he would just take complete credit for the work she did on top of that she usually does our weekly meetings it's been pre-established the older the other boss let her do the meetings the other boss was always was working on new projects was doing her own thing so she was like yeah you do the weekly meetings whatever do the powerpoints do the announcing do whatever today it's weekly meeting day and we waited five minutes for a three minute meeting it didn't have any like housekeeping like usually it'll be like hey the x y and z is changing you guys need to be a lookout for this if you're seeing these trends usually there would be a bunch of information in the meeting this meeting had like no information so i'm like we waited five minutes to tell us that some people are going on vacation and that one person got a compliment like what is this this is a very bleak and i messaged her and he she's like um he decided that he wants to start doing these meetings for the next couple moms and i'm just like is he just gonna try to take credit for everything that you do like you already have a pre like she uses a template you're just gonna take her template slap your name on it you give no extra information and you're just like taking this task from her like i don't know yeah i don't like it. it's weird it's weird it almost feels like he's trying to push her out like maybe he feels threatened by her because like she's so smart and normally we do go to her for everything she knows everything she's so helpful even when the previous supervisor was there we would go to the team lead if we needed stuff done so i, I don't know if he's feeling like a little territorial or if he's feeling like he needs to prove himself or something but i hate it so much and so today my stomach was just hurting like just dealing with him like stay your butt across the way like we don't like i don't like it I don't like it I don't like it um yeah let me get to the couch <sighs> taking a little break it's Saturday and I went to the mall and it's so hot in the mall that I was like sweating I don't know if you can see but a lot of my hair is like I've sweated out the ends all in the back of my hair so it's like all like <laughs> reverting back in the back of my head which is fine because i was gonna wash my hair anyway so i'm not even too mad about it because wash day is upon us it's looking for my hand sanitizer i ran all my errands i went to tj maxx and home goods because that's just my saturday thing to do i went to where else did i go i went to the mall to pick up uh those joy cons that i ordered I went to Kroger to pick up my couple little groceries that I needed. Just extra things to make chili. And then I had a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. <sighs> oh, I also went to Cinnabon and I got this frozen cold brew that I have not drank yet. And then I got two pull-apart buns. I need to go home. It's 12.54. I've been out and about since like 10 something. There's my sandwich. 
And of course, because it was free, I went ahead and added all the extra stuff. And the sandwich and the drink, I think only ended up costing me like maybe $5. I did get the mango passion fruit lemonade because I wanted to try it. That's good. And now, I didn't know if I wanted to get mayo or if I wanted to uh, use my sriracha. So I got both and I'm gonna just take bites of each. I should have got ranch, but I was expecting to go home and I have ranch at home, so that was a mistake. But it's okay. chick-fil-a chicken sandwich in so long because i've just been addicted to the nuggets and if i wanted a sandwich i would go to uh popeyes but their bacon is good mm. i got the spiced coke too i'm gonna have so much fun bringing all this stuff in the house it's going to be a multiple trip day. I taste the raspberry. It's supposed to be raspberry spiced. What is the spiced? I definitely taste the raspberry. It's good. It feels so good to be out of the house. on a good day where it's not freezing. Putting everything away. I got my hair in a bun. So happy to be home. It's 126. I have groceries to put away. But I'll show you what I got. I didn't get anything too crazy. I just got a company of things. So I got these, I love these tomatoes. They're the medley, petite medley, snacking greenhouse grown. These little funny colored tomatoes. I like these. <clears throat> milk, cause you always need more milk. The butter, the internet convinced me I love. It is good butter. But because I never ate normal butter by itself, like I never really had toast when I was buying normal butter, I don't know. But it is good. Little thing of sour cream. I plan on making chili. That's why I need like sour cream and stuff like that. Green onion to go on top of the chili. I got a bunch more of the Chobani creations. I got two more cherry cheesecake and two more apple pies because the, these two are my favorite. <clears throat> Banana would be my second favorite, third favorite out of the six. Cats acting like they hear something. What do you hear? Tell me. Let me know so we can leave together. And I got a Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch because I bought stuff to eat a salad. Uncrustables, because I eat these at work. Vanilla bean ice cream, Kroger brand, it's my favorite. And romaine lettuce for my salad. Last thing, we got fruit splash ginger ale because I saw it was new and I'm like, I think I like ginger ale, so I got it. I just can't remember if I like Canada Dry ginger ale is the issue. Is this one Coke or Pepsi? Like who you, who owns you? Dr. Pepper 7-Up. I'm pretty sure this is the one I liked it. There's one of them that Pepsi has, where I like Pepsi has their own ginger ale, what's theirs? I feel like that's the one I don't like. I don't know, it's gonna be fine. 
that's all I got grocery wise. Let me put this stuff away and I'll show you the stuff I got from Home Goods. I'm very excited about the stuff I found there. So excited. I've been looking at this mirror and I didn't want to buy it directly from Impressions Vanity because I don't like their customer service. And so I was going to get it on Amazon. But on Amazon, I think it was like 3.30 and some change. I'm like, uh, maybe. I'll wait it out, see if it gets any cheaper. TJ Maxx had it for $89 cheaper than Amazon. So I think it's like 2.50 or something like that. And at first I was just like, I don't need to be spending that. And then I was like, well, I get paid next week and I'll just tell myself I won't buy anything else for the month besides the Peach game and then Taylor wants a Mario game. So I'll buy two Switch games and then for the rest of the month, only what is needed. No more shopping for the for March. So that's how I justified it. And that's how I got it. Very excited. Um, very, because every day I walk out of my room, I'm just like, wow, my mirror, I wish it was a Hello Kitty mirror. Like I just feel like it would tie my whole room together if I had a Hello Kitty mirror. Now I have one. And I'll show you the other things that I got. Today was definitely like a treat yourself kind of day because I had really nothing to do. So we'll start with Hot Topic. I placed a pickup order for the Joy-Cons that I was showing you guys in the last vlog. I need to wash my hair and do my nails so bad. I just don't feel like doing it, but I'm gonna have to. But there we go. Little Lolita ones, and then just cute little normal Karomi and My Melody. Love both of the sets. And when I got that order, they gave me also 25% off. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll pick up some other things. So I got this Karomi sleeping bonnet. It's a hair bonnet. And I'm like, I don't have a hair bonnet. I'm gonna get the one with Karomi on it. So I got a hair bonnet and I can't wait to wear that around the house. And in honor of Princess Peach's new game, I got a Princess Peach shirt. So cute. I plan on streaming when the game comes out. So I'm like hyping myself up getting the game, getting the joy cons, getting a shirt. And then I also got this Karomi shirt because it's cute. All I do is sleep in these anyway, but cute. And then they gave me more. Every time you go to Hot Topic, they're constantly giving you money off. That store is so funny. I remember being younger and feeling like, oh, I'm not cool enough to go into Hot Topic. Like every time I go in there, I feel like I'm a poser or something. But now it's like, go in there. They got all the cutesy stuff. It's not just for certain people anymore. It's for everybody. So yeah. Got that. And then Bath and Body Works always sends coupons for like free stuff. So I got a free spray. I got a free hand cream. And I don't know what this one smells like. I should have got birthday cake, but I got vanilla buttercream because I figured you can't go wrong with that. And I could put it in my purse. And then I had a 20% off coupon and candles were... $13 so I'm like crap well I might as well get a candle too and I got this sweet carrot cake and it has like this marble-ish kind of lid it's very cute it's got a little rabbit on it and the scent is sweet carrot cake it smells just like carrot cake it smells so good it is sweet cream cheese frosting fluffy carrot cake cinnamon spice smells so good like I got two of those this might be my favorite I don't know why I smelled the second one like it was gonna be a different scent but this carrot cake one out of all the Easter scents this one's my favorite I'm like another money off from Hot Topic so I got another 25% off and a $15 cash that I have to use March 
dang, I have March 17th to March, or March 7th through March 17th, $15 off. I guess I will be back at Hot Topic in March. Got some underwear from TJ Maxx because I need new underwear. And I like the seamless kinds because they're just way more comfortable. But I don't feel like they last as long because they're seamless. And I think they literally just glue them together so they don't have to sew things. I don't know. But I like them. And I bought skincare stuff. What the heck is this? I didn't buy this. Did she charge me for this? Where's the receipt for that? Is this it? Nope, that's Bath and Body Works. I don't have the receipt, so she got away with it, but I think maybe I emailed it to myself, but I definitely didn't order this candy. Let me check my... Yeah, she definitely charged me for it. It's Belgium chocolate coins. This was not mine. I don't know where this came from. I, somebody probably must have put it on the counter and she thought it was mine and I wasn't paying attention. So I paid $5 for this. But what I really got was eye patches because I've been seeing people wearing cute little eye patches, little under eye patches. I got some face masks, Hello Kitty. And then I got some face wipes. I really like the Krem Shop brand. They always have really cute stuff. And I like what the Krem Shop brand mask, you can put them on and you don't have to rinse them off later on. So I could just like put it on and lay on the couch. And then when I'm done, I can toss it. I don't have to get up and then go wash my face again. I'm like checking my receipt now to make sure I didn't buy anything else. I got the mirror, the chocolate, the two face masks, and then two things of underwear. Yeah. I'm gonna just give this to the boys because it's good until the end March next year. I'll take it over to Brandy's and give it to the boys because I have to go over there at some point anyway to take Taylor her um, her Mario game. So I will give them chocolate. They'll love that. Also got a classic hazelnut syrup for my chai and coffee, and I also got a French vanilla because I have a vanilla bean that's almost empty. But for whatever reason in my mind, vanilla bean is always superior. But I don't know, maybe French vanilla would have more of a vanilla taste. But I always gravitate towards vanilla bean. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see something. And I think, oh, last couple things. I got some pink oven mitts, finally, because my black ones are filthy disgustingly filthy and so now I have cute pink ones I'm gonna wash the black ones take them over to Brandy's so she can have them and now I have these cute little pink ones and it's so nice because I was not even expecting to see those I was walking around and the ones I was looking at on Amazon were like pink and they had like gray stripes on them and I'm like I really don't want those but I want a pink pair so randomly I found these happy about that I got a pair of huggy hoop earrings. I just thought they were cute. But you can like, once you get like extra holes in your ear and they would sit close to your actual earlobe. I like that. And my last two random finds that I was not expecting. I only saw, I wasn't even gonna go upstairs to, cause I went to two different TJ Maxx, two different home goods only because I'm a weirdo and I have to, like I, I have to, because everyone gets different stuff. So I was just walking around about to leave. They had the little trinket plates and they say dishwasher safe. Do not use in microwave or dishwasher, hand wash only. I'm assuming these are not dinner plates. These are just like cute trinket plates like for jewelry um 
especially since you can't microwave it and you can only ham maybe you can put a small snack on it i don't know what these plates are for but when i saw them on amazon they were called trinket plates not not amazon um instagram and i got two of them there were three but i got two and i left the other one there for someone just in case but they're so cute and they're made out of ceramic they're so cute i'm so happy i've been seeing these online and i'm like wow i really want that now i have it i feel like i have now all the hello kitty stuff i've been seeing online other than that blanket that i wanted but i got i got a different pink blanket so now i feel like i've i've gotten everything hello kitty that i've been seeing online that was at tj maxx and home goods i'm gonna have to wait for the next round of stuff like or is there gonna be new stuff for the summer new stuff towards the end of the year like where's the new stuff but i'm good now i feel like i have everything that i've been wanting or i've been seeing and waiting for so we're all good here um i gotta put all this stuff away and clean up oh i need to wash my hair but i'm wondering can i get away with i wanted to keep my nails i wanted to keep these nails for another week and i'm wondering can i if I just, because I have to wash my hair and they're going to get all wet and stuff and my hair is going to get all in them. So I'm wondering, can I wear gloves? I might wash my hair and wear gloves. That way I can keep these for like another week. Because I just did them like right before Valentine's Day. Yeah, like a, how long ago was that? This is like week two. I'm trying to keep these on for like week three maybe do them around Friday next week or something. I need to get another week out of these. They also opened up a they also opened a Cinnabon back up at the mall. So I got two Cinnabon centers. Rami, you think there's something for you? There we go plan on eating these later on tonight maybe for like dessert one of them one is for tomorrow and then one is for like maybe tonight or maybe I might eat some tonight off of one and finish it tomorrow either way I got these for the next couple days and then I also got a frozen cold brew from there because I've never had that so I'm actually gonna pop that get that back out of the freezer and drink that while I live my life can I get two of your Cinnabon, the pull-aparts? Okay. Anything else? Um, no, that's all. Well, have you told up the second one down? All right, thank you. I need. I woke up early to go get this bread and it's 7 58 i'm supposed to be at work at eight o'clock but i got up just a little bit early so i can get this bread and then try it for you guys and then i'll just be like i'm normally late for work anyway so it doesn't matter i'll be earlier than normal still even if i sit in the parking lot and try this um i'm almost to work now people in the morning drive like idiots like they'll jump right in front of you so impatient it's like even on my latest day I am not gonna drive like a madman I'm still gonna drive my normal like normal speed because I should have woke up earlier if it was that serious is how I feel about it um I don't know or maybe I should have moved a little faster but let me pull into here really quick even this car behind me already trying to get in front of me and we're pulling into the same parking lot like Jesus Christ Woosa. I'll be back. <laughs> Made it to the dark garage. Hopefully you guys can at least see. I got two of these because I'm a fatty and I don't know, maybe they're so good I might want to eat one tomorrow. But it looks okay. It's 8.01. So I feel like it's... Oh, they give me a fork and a knife in the same package. That's cute. I'm going to walk in in like just a couple minutes. Also, I put my hair in a bun because my hair is so dirty. It smells good. Oh, 
Oh my God. I feel like it's not as wet as like a normal Cinnabon. Cinnabon? <laughs> but it is warm. The icing is very cream cheesy. So I feel like it's the actual icing. It's just missing that. You know when you go to the usual Cinnabon, they'll put the cream cheese icing on, but they'll also put an extra drizzle of the caramel brown sugar stuff. That's what it's missing, the caramel brown sugar stuff. Cause it's very like, like I'm gonna, it was some coffee, this is gonna be great. Cause it's not too wet, but that's what it's missing. It's a little dry because it's missing that extra drizzle that they put on there, but it's got plenty of the cream cheese icing. And once I get to my desk and mash this up and it sit, it's gonna be so good. But let me get into work because I'm late. And I feel like every time I get on here, I always wanna talk too much, but I'm still technically early. I gotta go. You guys can see I'm wearing my new bonnet. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm just getting used to it because the, the scrunchy headband part is definitely scrunchying and I'll have the lines all on my forehead. But I'm hanging out in the game room. I forgot where I left off. I haven't, I'm obviously like, I was taking like a little mini break because I've been super depressed and overwhelmed with work because my boss is a donkey and I'm just like, oh my God, I miss when I had a girl boss and she was so organized and everything was so seamless. He's just so clunky and it's just like, oh my goodness gracious, annoying. And it's really been just stressing me out going to work and dealing with this person. Even though we're not even in the same location, it's just like the overall looming vibe i don't know it's just the presence of this person just annoys me and then i feel like i've been complaining so much and it literally work made me depressed <laughs> worrying complaining so much just took me all the way down but today is the first day that i'm actually feeling better yesterday i did my skincare and all that luckily i did wash my hair probably whatever prior because I hadn't washed my hair in like a month and it was like okay I was like wearing a bun <laughs> trying to like save it and it was just like all right well I can't get away with this hair anymore but I am still rocking the Valentine's Day nails even though this one the polish came off of this one and then this one um it's not gonna focus but this one completely broke when i was opening up boxes and so it actually has a poly gel on it but this was my first time doing poly gel and i'm not so good at it but it's a it, i mean it's just a plain nail but it's at least the right length with the other ones so whatever um yeah feeling better now we'll see how the week goes it is only sunday so who knows i might go back to work tomorrow and be like i'm not better <sighs> but i am sitting down to edit so i haven't even started touching on the footage that you're gonna see all beforehand so who knows ah it's gonna be a surprise for me i have no idea what i'm editing and i'll show you guys what i did do i was like showing you that draft for the desk i was gonna do and i did most of it I got the new desk, I got everything all set out. There was a second shelf here, but the cat tried to be sneaky, Pia, and climbed up here and pulled the shelf down and it's not up there very well. So the shelf is down, but everything else is like set up. It's really dark in here, but you stack my pops up. I have a little section to color. I got all my thumb grips, little lotions, stuff like that, little pencil sharpener. And eventually I'm gonna get a new PC case. This one is just way too tall and there's all this space back here I can't use because the PC is too tall. But other than that, it's really nice. Oh, oh, hey, 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 watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Yep, 
so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and hopefully everything goes smoothly from here if you made it this far leave a is there like a desk emoji leave a little desk emoji and also those Oreo those um those windy Cinnabons not that good I got those two got to work started eating them and like sitting there thinking about it not as good as the actual Cinnabon it needed more of that cinnamon brown stuff that they put on it it just was missing that because that cinnamon brown stuff was missing so I ended up giving like the second one to my co-worker and then I went to Cinnabon and bought two to eat on for like two days so yeah Cinnabon's better the windy ones aren't that good yeah leave that desk emoji thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week um i keep telling myself that i'm gonna get back into streaming and you know i got my desk set up it's like why not but every time i go to sit down it's like oh i'm so overwhelmed with work that i just want to sit by myself and then the weekend comes and then i'm in the dump so we'll see i'm holding myself to it that i'm gonna get at least one twitch stream in maybe two we'll see how it goes because it's like once you start doing it then you're back into it but i'm rambling so i'll see you guys next week bye